Now an update to a local 15 reality check. We first told you about the lack of specialists in Washington County this February. Yeah, many residents drive more than an hour to Mobile for medical care. And now the county's only hospital has found a way to bring the specialists to the residents of this rural county. It's called telemedicine. Local 15's Madupe Idobu explains how it all works in this week's reality check. Kim Gregg, after months of trying to recruit hospitals, the Spring Hill Medical Wound Center has partnered with the Washington County Hospital, providing its specialists to treat severe wounds from more than 70 miles away. And we were there to see the first patient trial tested out. Yes, sir. Can you see it? It was like a game of ping pong. We actually got some nice granulation buds over on the right side, some epithelialization going on there. Right. This is an active shot. Yes. yes. This is not a still. No, this is no. active. Okay. Nurses in Chatham went back and forth with specialists in Mobile describing the wound site on an elderly nursing home patient. So we may not be able to feel and touch, but we have another qualified healthcare professional on site that can be our hands and be our eyes. Using the internet and high definition cameras, specialist Dr. William Wiggs from the Spring Hill Medical Center's Wound and Hyperbarics was able to check the tissue and advise nurses to order a culture. I can see better with this than I can in front of with a live patient. Today was just a test in preparation for the launch of the Telewound Care Partnership with Spring Hill. It's the day Director Douglas Tanner has waited for almost two years. We were able to accomplish something that um, before would have required us to transport that that patient all the way to Mobile at great expense and, it, and probably great trauma. Try $22,000. That's how much it cost the hospital to transport patients to the port city. Now the specialists have come to them. Julio Garcia oversees Springs Hill Center for Wound Care and Hyperbaric Medicine. He says the technology will help with diabetic patients struggling with ulcers. So the ability to be able to identify these patients early and uh, provide the care and provide what we call limb preservation, keeping their legs attached to their bodies. So there you go. Ew, and there's gross. your skin pores. This is what your skin looks like at uh, magnified 60 times. Lloyd Sermons, executive director of the Alabama Partnership of Telemedicine, showed me how the equipment can be used to treat more than wounds. Tanner is hopeful to add telestroke care to the list next. We have patients that come into our ER that, that are either having a stroke, they're displaying some symptoms of stroke. Uh, if we had a neurologist that we could connect to that could actually see that patient, view the CT scan that we've already done here, uh, look in their eyes. It could save a life. I think we saw today the proof that, that it can be a beneficial tool. We're hoping the wound care is just our, our first step in this, what we, we hope to expand. Tanner says the Washington County Hospital is still reaching out to area hospitals to participate and have their specialists treat patients. They're hopeful to add neurologists and psychiatrists to the list. Back to you.